mRNA, messenger RNA. Yeah. Here's a little lesson on it. We've heard a lot about the science, of course, of mRNA when it started being used in COVID-19 vaccines. A lot of people actually against mRNA uh, types of vaccines and don't know how safe they are. But now that mRNA data, that science could play a vital role in treating another disease. Moderna announcing it's beginning a late stage study of its vaccine for respiratory syn I don't even know how to say that. I always just call it RSV, guys. I apologize, RSV. Uh, similar to the COVID-19 vaccine, it uses mRNA technology. Dr. Payal Adhikari of Chicago's Child and Adolescent Health Associates is here to save the day. Okay, Dr. Adhikari, how do you say RSV when you're not using the acronym? I rarely do, but it's respiratory syncytial virus. Thank you. I was like, it's in my teleprompter and God bless, I just have never said it out loud. So thank you for actually being my, my educator here, my tutor. Uh, let's talk about mm -hmm. mRNA in simple terms. What exactly, what is it? And, and kind of help us at home understand why it's important. Yeah, it, it, to simplify, really normal vaccines, what they do is they inject a little bit of the actual viral protein into your system. So whether it's dead or alive, they inject the viral protein itself. And then our bodies say, oh, that's not something we want in here. And they create antibodies to it. Okay. mRNA vaccines instead actually give us the blueprint to create the protein ourselves. So it does not give us any virus or any viral protein. It just gives us the instructions on how our bodies can make that protein. And then our bodies make it, display it to our cells, and then our cells say, hey, that doesn't look like something we like, let's create antibodies to it. Okay, a lot of, there have been some skeptics or people who are a little bit nervous about it. Is COVID-19 vaccine the only approved mRNA um, vaccine or drug on the market? Yeah, I believe it's the only one, but research on mRNA vaccines has been going on for decades. So it's not new technology, it's now just new to the market. Okay, so it's new to the public versus being in that pre-approval stage where it's still being uh, tested. Uh, we've seen an alarming rise in the number of RSV cases in children, and a lot of parents are concerned, especially among their younger children. Is there any particular reason why that's happening? You know, so this is RSV season. So RSV is known for being a late fall to early spring virus. Um, I think with kids, most kids have RSV, whether we know it or not, by the age of two. It's usually just a mild cold virus that we don't even test for that kids get and kind of move on. With the kids for the last two years having been secluded so much, I think a lot of these kids, as they get back into daycare, back into birthday parties and social situations, are now getting this virus that they perhaps would have gotten already in the last two years. Not to mention it's, you know, the height of RSV season as well. So is there this science that's showing through mRNA that children could be protected from RSV with this new drug? So there actually already is an RSV vaccine on the market, but it's only approved for very high risk children. So very premature kids, kids with you know, congenital heart diseases, chronic pulmonary diseases, things like that. So with this new uh, mRNA vaccine for RSV, it will depend on who it's actually marketed towards, if they're going to be marketing it toward the general public or just for high risk kiddos. Well, that's something that I think a lot of parents are going to be looking into. Dr. Ardhikari, thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.